Hi, it's Dr. Noel Williams, August 9, 2020. A COVID update for teachers or people entering the school systems now and who are gonna be exposed to children. Our overall gestalt is that younger children are very low risk for spreading. Uh, older children, uh, well, young adults, 16, 17, 18, are gonna be at a higher risk for spreading. So what can you do? Well, it all comes back to some basic nutrition which I really want to emphasize. Let's keep our immune systems tuned up. It's what I do, it's what I encourage everyone to do, and that way when you have an exposure, you're less likely to get it, which is very important. And then if you do get it, you'll fight it off more easily. So our core things are zinc, vitamin D, a multivitamin, and melatonin. And then there's add-on things like elderberry, vitamin C, um, an omega-3 you can do. So let's give a little more exact recommendations for this. So the way, one way of doing the zinc is just to take it daily, they're 30 or 50 milligrams a day. Another way of doing it that I think is pretty interesting, especially if you've been on zinc for a while, is to go from taking it daily to doing a 150 milligram pulse on Sunday and 150 milligram pulse on Wednesday. So you have two types, two times a week where you're really peaking it and then you take the rest of the week off. Now, when you're taking that much zinc, you have to spread it out. So either 30 milligrams through the day or 50 milligrams three times through the day with food. And that really is gonna rev up the antiviral properties of, in your system for uh, zinc itself killing the virus. With chronic use and pulsatile use, your alpha interferon levels go really high, which fight off viruses too. And also uh, alpha interferon fights cancer. So all good stuff for everyone. Uh, the vitamin D is 5,000 units a day if you're over 120 pounds. If you're under 120 pounds, you wanna just do it Monday through Friday. If you're over 170 to 180 pounds, you probably wanna do 10,000 units a day. Um, and again, vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. So as I've talked about, fish oil is pretty important these days for keeping our vascular systems in tune from COVID side effects. So again, take your vitamin D with an omega-3. The melatonin dose is probably a couple milligrams, one to two every night, just to have your baseline melatonin levels up. If you get infected, I'd probably want your melatonin in your to go to 10 milligrams a day and your omega-3 to go to at least two a day. And those are our core things, plus the multivitamin for just holistic immunity, white blood cell immunity. And then what can you do if you're during just during the week for yourself? Well, elderberry, 500 milligrams twice a day, morning and evening, um, is great for fighting off viruses. Uh, likewise, if you can't wear masks, let's say your school's district has said there's no masks, um, which definitely has happened in places. Uh, a zinc elderberry lozenge during the morning, I do one in the morning, late morning, early afternoon, late afternoon, that would be uh, potentially helpful. Uh, and then finally, uh, nasal rinses are gonna be always a benefit Monday through Friday. And those are the core things to do. And just stay calm and be outside, watch your stress, huh, which is not easy these days. And I think that's pretty much the summary of stuff. Kim, am I missing anything? Um, hand sanitizer. Oh, hand sanitizer, oh, of course. You can't sanitize your hands too much. Sanitize your hands, keep one in your car, keep one on your desk. Um, remember, paper's gonna, it, what we're suggesting with paper, if you're, and hopefully your school districts did a lot of this for you, but uh, COVID can stay on paper for up to eight hours. So if you're having papers collected, just let them sit till the next day. Um, 24 hours of sitting and not being touched. The COVID on any papers is gonna be gone. And then remember it's hard surfaces, not as much like a cloth surface, but uh, hard surfaces uh, counterintuitively can t keep the COVID much longer. So always be cleaning those surfaces all day long and just you know keep your wits about you. This is gonna be a different year for all of us. So that's what we have to do. Thank you very much.